Cardinals, it is the battle of number one versus number two in the 12th region, the Wayne County Cardinals and the Somerset Briar Jumpers, along with Jennifer Abner on camera and Doug Each from the Somerset News Journal. I'm Brian Abner for your Charter Media's local channel 8. And Doug, this is the matchup everybody's been wanting to see all year long, Wayne County and Somerset. Well, this is a matchup, Brian, that people were talking about uh, back, uh, if not in uh, late October, early November because both of these teams were pegged right out of the gate as uh, two of the top three or four teams in our region and uh, regional contenders. And uh, they come in tonight, Wayne County having an outstanding year, 23-1, and one, uh, ranked number one in the 12th region. Somerset, 19-5, and five, coming off an impressive all A tournament run, which they finished as state runner-up. And uh, these are two teams that uh, everybody thought would be uh, there uh, the first week of March. And it uh, be good to see them uh, get it on tonight here at Wayne County High School. And it'll be a good measuring stick for both teams to see just where they're at at this point in the year. And we're about a week and a half away from district tournament time. Somerset coming off that emotional win on senior night over Madison Central. And, of course, Wayne County, their only blemish of the season, coming at the hands of Bell County at Bell County. And there are not many teams that lose at Bell County. Uh, no, uh, Bell County, uh, I think Jimmy Carter was president the last time they won lost a home game. Uh, very tough to play over there in the 13th region. Uh, Wayne County, uh, matter of fact, lost that game uh, the weekend Somerset was playing in the All-A. And, of course, since the All-A, Somerset lost the final to University Heights. Then last week uh, had a 17-point uh, lead on the road at South Laurel. Wound up losing that game by two, and then came back, as you said, with the emotional win on senior night over Madison Central. And uh, this is a Somerset team, I think, that has quietly been looking forward to this game for the last two to three weeks because, uh, you know, they're having an outstanding year, yet they've always heard you're the second best team behind Wayne County. And these guys have something to prove tonight, although you'll see a Somerset team not at full strength. Uh, Heath Randall, a key reserve, coming off the bench, who had an outstanding game uh, against Glasgow in the All-A tournament, uh, is out of the lineup tonight. He'll be in street clothes with a hand injury. Uh, Josh Anderson, I understand, another key reserve, uh, back at home suffering from a case of bronchitis. And then you have Josh Thompson, another reserve, uh, at home with a high ankle sprain. So Sean Thacker has three key substitutes coming off that bench that he'll not be able to call upon tonight. And uh, that could be a factor if Somerset gets into deep foul trouble. Uh, Wayne County loves to shoot the three. They're much like Painesville, a team Somerset knocked off in the all -A. All five players can shoot the three. And uh, we'll see how uh, Somerset uh, comes out and plays uh, these guys defensively. And I think key for Somerset, with all the reserves out of the lineup, is to stay out of deep foul trouble here tonight. You've got to keep Trey Sharp, Jordan Mann, and Adam Cole on the floor to have a chance. Local high school basketball on Charter Media, brought to you in part by Extreme Audio on Parker's Mill Road. Extreme Audio is your total audio video headquarters for auto, home, and marine. Not only do they carry uh, audio equipment, they also offer auto accessories, including wheels, tires, security systems, and performance parts. That's Extreme Audio, stoplight number 22 on the Parker's Mill Road. Call 677-2834 for Extreme Audio. And, Doug, the last time Somerset uh, defeated Wayne County was in this gym ten years ago this month, February of uh, uh, 92 they won down here. So uh, Wayne County has won 11 straight over Somerset, and Somerset is due, I guess, in this gymnasium. Yeah, they really are. And, uh, of course, this is two teams, uh, both of them having outstanding seasons. But the district, the 48th district, much tougher than Wayne County's. And uh, the 47th district, uh, they do their district tournament a little different. The top two seeds host a district tournament game. And then whoever comes out of that, the higher seed, hosts the final. Wayne County already knows they're going to be taking on a depleted Monticello club in the district tournament on this court. So they're almost a shoe-in to get to the 12th regional tournament. Sean Thacker, on the other hand, he has to wait till North and South Laurel do their annual battle. And congratulations for being in the 48th district. He gets the winner, and that's a semifinal game. So Somerset has a tough road ahead just to get to the regional tournament. But if they do, you can see these two clubs meeting in uh, the semifinals or in the finals. And as you said, all they look, get to look forward to 
North and South Laurel that winter, those two teams were picked number three and number four in the district, respect, or excuse me, in the region, respectively, at the beginning of the season. You had, uh, actually, South Laurel was ranked number two. You had Wayne, South Laurel, Somerset, and North Laurel. So uh, there's top four teams in the region. Two of those teams are going to be going home and won't even make it that far. Yeah, and it's a shame, but that's just life in the 48th district as we know it. And uh, you're right, two outstanding teams will be going home. And you look at Somerset last year, over 20 wins, didn't even make it to the regional tournament because they lost to North Laurel in the semifinal round at Southwestern. Sean Packer wants to avoid that same situation this year. But I know he's concentrating on that game with a week and a half left in the regular season. But he would love to see his club come down here and maybe send a message to Wayne County that the road to the 12th regional title may not be as smooth and as paved as you think. There may be a couple of bumps along the road, and Somerset hopefully is one of those bumps. Baskin Robbins on South Highway 27 now offering freeze frame cakes. These are ice cream cakes with an edible picture image on the top of the cake. If you want one, just give them a call at 679-5975 for more information. They can have one ready in a two-day notice. Remember, Baskin Robbins always has shakes, blasts, and smoothies. Also, assorted no-sugar-added ice cream, also available now at Baskin-Robbins. The flavor for the month at Baskin-Robbins is Heartbreak Healer. That's Baskin-Robbins on South Highway 27, next to Sonny's Barbecue in Somerset. We're about ready for basketball action. Stay tuned. It's the Somerset Briar Jumpers and the Wayne County Cardinals, and it's next on Charter Media's Channel 8. Local high school basketball on Charter Media's local Channel 8. Brought to you by these community-minded sponsors. Big O Tires. Hawk Air. Ford Brothers Realty. Air and Body Works. Southern Petroleum. Save-A-Lot Food Stores. Postal One Stop. Extreme Audio. Price Valley Fire and Safety Supplies. Natural Expressions. Mary Dalton CPA. Union Planters Bank. Baskin Robbins, Kirk Davis, Attorney at Law, Sports Den, and South Kentucky RECC. Back at Wayne County High School, about ready for basketball action. The Somerset Briar Jumpers being introduced as we speak. Uh, as we said, Somerset coming in with a record of 19 and 5. They are the number one seed in the 48 district tournament coming up. And you have also the Wayne County Cardinals coming in with a 22-1 and record. They are the number one seed in the 47th district, ranked number one in the region, in the top 20 in the state of Kentucky. But I'll tell you what, Doug, you think the Somerset Briar Jumpers are scared of them. You're sadly mistaken. No, Somerset Briar Jumpers, uh, they don't need to be scared of them because they play uh, several teams as good as Wayne County. Uh, University Heights comes to mind. Paintsville, Glasgow. Hey, when you knock off Brandon Stockton, you can beat anybody in the state of Kentucky. And uh, I saw that firsthand. So uh, Somerset's uh, not in all of Wayne County. And I think that's a key because Wayne County gets a lot of wins just based on intimidation. Uh, that's not going to be the case tonight. As Trey Sharp and Alan Keck, you see there, uh, get ready to go. And we got a match up in the middle. Jordan Mann of Somerset, Evan Dick of Wayne County. Both of them seniors, and uh, we could be seeing the two top players in the 12th region, and uh, probably one of those young men may be player of the year, although Monte Callaway probably has something to say about that. Pinky Mays also at Danville and a couple other players up that direction. Your starters for the Somerset Briar Jumpers, they go with the three-guard set. Adam Cole, your senior, number 14, along with Trey Sharp, number 33. Number 21, the sophomore, is Neil Tucker. Your forward tonight, number 24, Allen Keck, and your center, number 42, Jordan Mann, for the Wayne County Cardinals. Getting ready to jump center, that is number 30, Evan Dick. He is a forward. Tyrone Green, number 24. Number 11 is Brian Mayer. Number 20 is Jared Gibbons, and number 22 is Bradley Bell as we're underway. Bell with it. Down into the corner, now all the way across to Dick for three. No good. Rebound inside, and a foul is going to be called. Maybe they're going to get Trey Sharp on the foul. Trey Sharp. Now, Brian, I don't want to harp on the point, but Somerset can ill afford to get one of the three amigos in foul trouble here tonight. Green up with a shot. It's good. Tyrone Green averaging 12 points a game. Wayne County has a team averaging 76 points a game. 
only giving up 55. So they're really playing some very good deep, uh, basketball. They call a travel on Trey Sharp. And they say he picked up his pivot foot. And Doug, while we have this opportunity, if we get a, a moment to breathe here, we want to uh, really tell everyone how much we appreciate the 12th region officials after seeing the officiating at the All-A Tournament. Which was in, in a Richmond. word, <laughs> atrocious. You really find out what, uh, what you have whenever you see what everybody else is dealing with. My goodness. We have some of the best officials in the state. Kick out. Mayor with it. Now gives it out to Evan Dick. Back to Mayor. Down to Green. He's down on the baseline. Kicks it back out to Mayor. Wayne County going to set up. And a travel is called. Bradley Bell had actually traveled three times with the basketball down on this trip, and then they finally caught him. And that's an unforced turnover. No one within five feet of him, and just a lack of concentration. And uh, Somerset will work the ball into offensive court, trying to get this thing tied up or go ahead with the three. Keck with the basketball. Gets it to Sharp. Sharp back out to Adam Cole, and he's going to set it up. Jordan Mann with it, guarded by Evan Dick. Match up everybody wanted to see inside the Sharp. Sharp gets a heavy body, and finally a foul is going to be called. That's going to go on Brian Mayer, and that will send Trey Sharp to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. Folks, if you need to ship something, whether big or small, Postal One Stop can do it for you. Packing and shipping all in one stop. Specializing in UPS, FedEx, and USPS. That's Postal One Stop on South Highway 27, stoplight number 21, next to Sunny's Barbecue. First one up, no good. Second one is good. Somerset on the board, 2-1, to one. Wayne County with the lead. Green with it, now down on the corner. Back out top, Bell with the basketball to Mayer. Sean Thacker made the comment that he really uh, liked the idea of playing paintsville because it gave him a mirror image of what Wayne County likes to do. Adam Cole with a steal and a layup. Somerset, first lead of the night at 3-2. to two. This is Mayer with the basketball. Both teams going with that full court pressure up and down the court. Green with the shot, no good. Green shooting 56% from the field on the season. Ball goes off of Adam Cole's chest, out of bounds. And it'll stay with Wayne County. James Powell unable to be with us tonight. He is actually scouting for the uh, Pulaski Maroons tonight on a scouting trip. Down in the corner, Devin Dick. Now back out top. Bell gives it over to Gibbons. Gibbons goes inside to Green. Green up and in. No, he travels. So another turnover for Wayne County. Wayne County, Doug, only averaging 13 turnovers per game. Well, it's a team that doesn't turn the ball over, a team that makes you turn the ball over about twice as much as it does, and it gets to the free throw line a lot. And uh, Somerset doing a nice job, Brian, in the early going with this zone defense, and we saw the same thing against Paintsville. And there's a block. Green with the rebound. Evan Dick had the block. Now Evan Dick with the basketball. Going to drive the paint, kick it out to Gibbons. Excuse me, that's Bell. Now to Gibbons. Gibbons will shoot a three. No good. Back iron. Neil Tucker had it knocked out of bounds as Trey Sharp went over to get the basketball. Actually knocked it away from his own man. It'll stay with Wayne County. Well, Wayne County getting a lot of second chances here in the early going. Uh, the ball seemingly bouncing the cards away. I know Sean Thacker would like to see one shot and a rebound. Gibbons with it. Now down in the corner it goes to Bell. Back out to Gibbons. Inside to Evan Dick. Nice pass to Green with a body. Alan Keck's going to foul him and send him to the free throw line. Coach Mock Air has special flight instruction programs now available. Call today and schedule your class at Mock Air 451-2366. That's Mock Air at the Somerset Airport. Green at the free throw line. Two free throws coming to him. First one's up and in. Only a 50% free throw shooter on the year, so he should miss this one. Right in the bucket. Wayne County leads it 4-3. to three. 
Four minutes, 50 seconds to go, first quarter. Tucker gets it down to Jordan Mann. Mann up off the glass and in. That's how you beat the press. The ball never hit the floor. Now Wayne County beats it back the other way. Gibbons outside to Bell. Back to Gibbons. Mayer with the basketball. To Bell. Mayer going to drive, kick it out. Bell. Looks like he's traveling every time he gets the ball in that motion. Trey Sharp with the uh, steal. Another unforced, or excuse me, that was a forced turnover. But yet another turnover for Wayne County. And we're just now four minutes into this ball game. And that's four turnovers on the cards, Brian, here in the early going. Jordan Mann wide open. That's four points for Jordan Mann. And Jordan making it look easy. It's 7-4, to four, Somerset. 3.54 to go, first quarter play. I think Jordan making a statement here in the early going in his head-to-head confrontation with Evan Dick. Gibbons going to drive baseline, put it up. Sharp blocks it out of bounds. Checking into the ball game for Wayne County is uh, Joseph Brown, number 23, along with number 25. That's Steven Sexton. You're going to see a lot of different ball players in the game for Wayne County. They go eight or nine deep. Green with the basketball out top. To Evan Dick. Shot up and good. His first two points of the night. 7-6. to six. Somerset with the lead. Sharp on a run out. Lost the basketball. Got it back. He's going to drive. Kick it up. No good. Foul is going to be called on Wayne County, but it may have... Sharp looked like he may have lowered the shoulder and went on in. The foul is going to be called on Tyrone Green. I think he got fouled, though, before, Brian. So the two free throws coming up. Folks, today's youth are tomorrow's leaders, and it is important to get the best education possible. We are fortunate to have outstanding schools in our area. For you, the student, you need to take advantage of your opportunities and stay in school for a brighter future for all. This message brought to you by Kurt Davis, attorney at law, proud supporter of our local schools. Free throws are up and good. It is 9-6. to six. Somerset with an early lead. Three minutes, ten seconds to go. The opening quarter from Wayne County High School. Sexton gets it down inside to Brown. Brown kicks it out. Now over to Gibbons inside to Evan Dick. Kicks it back out. A shot goes up from three. No good. Tip, no good. Jordan Mann with the rebound. As Steven Sexton missed the three. Cole kicks it out. Sharp for three. No good. Allen Keck with a, the rebound. What a rebound. Inside to Jordan Mann. Mann just lays it up and in. Allen Keck is Mr. Offensive Rebound for this Somerset Briar Jumper team. It's 11 to 6. A five point lead for the Jumpers, their largest of the night. Outside to Green. Over to Sexton. Inside it goes to Brown. Brown, a 10 footer from the baseline, is up and good. It's 11 to 8 with 2.02 to go. In the first quarter. Sharp again on a run out, and a charge is going to be called. As they say, Joseph Brown got there in time to get the position, and it'll go the other way. It'll go as a turnover. And more importantly, that's two fouls on Trey Sharp. And as you said uh, earlier, Doug, the jumpers can ill afford to get deep into their bench because one thing, they're, they're number one, so they're sixth man off the bench. Uh, Heath Randall not here tonight. He is here, but in street clothes as uh, Nathan Bray checks into the ball game. Ball comes in to Bradley Bell. Gets it up to Evan Dick. Sexton kicks it out to Gibbons. Down to Dick. Now over in the corner. Now back out top. Gibbons for three. No good. Rebound comes down to Bell. Inside it goes to Brown. Ball moved by Wayne County. Ball knocked away on the floor. Who's got it? Somerset comes away with it. Neil Tucker. Referee's letting him play down low. 
11 to 8, Somerset with the lead. 113 to go in the quarter. Adam Cole with the basketball, dumps it down. Jordan Mann wide open, and he's making a living down in the paint early on and proving why he should be a player of the year in the 12th region candidate. And now a foul is going to be called. Maybe they're going to get Neil Tucker. Well, Wayne County just can't stop Jordan Mann down low. He's having a uh, field day right now. Already eight points, four of four from the floor. 13-8. Under a minute to go in the opening quarter, 55 seconds. Somerset leading Wayne County. Down in the corner, Evan Dick with it. Now he's going to kick it cross court. Almost stolen away, and now it is stolen away. Allen Kick got a hand on it. Adam Cole comes up with it. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Adam Cole. That's a terrible call. I agree. That's terrible. Should we say it now? Welcome to Wayne County High School. Well, you know, they call this place the kitchen. <laughs> the scene of home cooking. That was a bad call. Somerset with a five-point lead with 34 seconds to go. And a travel is called on Stephen Sexton. That's seven turnovers, Brian, here in the first quarter on Wayne County. Jordan Mann trying to get the crowd pumped up over on this side. Late arriving crowd, but a very large crowd filing into Wayne County High School. A much anticipated contest. Over to Keck. Now back to Cole. Stolen away. Jared Gibbons with the steal. Got a little lazy with the basketball. 15 seconds. Bill with the basketball out top. Now to Gibbons. Trying to hold it for one. And a foul is going to be called on Neil Tucker on the reach. You'll get that every time when that arm comes out. Ryan Jamison, number 32, checks into the ball game as uh, Tucker goes to the bench. 3.6 seconds, all that remains in the quarter. Evan Dick puts up a shot and hits it. At the buzzer as we go to the break, it's 13 to 11, Somerset leading Wayne County. If you're still trying to take off those holiday inches, why not try a body wrap from Heron Body Works? For this month, save $15 on a body wrap and also take $15 off of a full hour massage. That's Heron Body Works in the B&H Shoe Plaza, suite number five, call 677-0121. Doug, even though Wayne County's probably played its uh, sloppiest basketball of the season in the first quarter, they still only trail Somerset 13-11 to as they turned it over seven times in the first quarter. Well, that's true. In Somerset, Brian, five out of seven from the field in the first period of play. Uh, the jumpers guilty of four turnovers themselves. Jordan Mann, eight points, four four from the field. And Wayne County has not had an answer for number 42 here in the early going. Evan Dick getting on the scoreboard with five points in the first quarter. Is that correct? Uh, let's see. Yes. He had a two and then the three at the buzzer. Somerset with the basketball to start the second quarter of play. Sharp and Tucker both back into the ball game for Somerset. Keck over to Adam Cole. Back to Keck, now to Cole. Wide open three, got it. 16 to 11, Somerset with the lead. Little two-man game right there between Cole and Keck. Cole hits the three. Green with the basketball. Going to take it out top. Now to Evan Dick. Stripped away. They're going to call Adam Cole on the foul. That's two on Cole. And you've got two on Sharp. So you have two on Cole, two on Tucker, two on Sharp. And 7.24 left in the half, and Wayne County already in the one and one. Imagine that. Evan Dick shooting 79% from the free throw line this season. 
First one's up and good. 16 to 12. Averaging 17 points, 8 rebounds, 2.5 assists. Can do it all for the Wayne County Cardinals. He has both free throws. Cuts it to a three-point game, 16 to 13. Cole being pressured by uh, Tyro Branscombe. To Tucker, going to be saved and then knocked out of bounds. So they'll stay with Somerset. Try to go to Allen Keck, thrown out of bounds. A turnover on the jumpers, and Wayne County has the basketball. The jumpers have played some sloppy basketball as well here in the first half. It's just not a good pass there on the inbounds play. And uh, you cannot make those kind of mistakes against this Wayne County team and hope to pull off an upset here. Green with the basketball, now to Evan Dick. Thought about a three, now he gets it down in the corner to Mayer. Mayer after Green. Green inside it goes. Pump fake up and in. And that's Joseph Brown. It's a one-point lead for the Somerset Briar Jumpers, 16 to 15. Trey Sharp for three, way off, no good. Brown with the rebound. Green takes it in, and a foul's going to be called. Jordan Mann, they're going to get with this one. Mann looked like he may have grabbed his shoulder as Green went by him. Alan Keck had a clean uh, tip away. Green will go to shoot two free throws. Price Valley Fire and Safety Supplies, 303 Langdon Street, Suite 203. You'll find a full line of fire extinguisher sales and service. Fire safety supplies, safety signs, hard hats, police, and fire service equipment and uniforms. That's fire, uh, Price Valley Fire and Safety Supplies, now at 303 Langdon Street at the entrance to the hospital. Ty, tied up at 16. Green can give Wayne County the lead here and does not. So we're still tied with 6 minutes, 30 seconds to go in the half. Eight fouls on Somerset, two fouls on Wayne County. Now we're going to have a foul call on Wayne County as Jordan Mann had Evan Dick hooked. We're going to get Mayer on the foul. Evan Dick going uh, to the uh, sideline. Looks like he has a big shiner. May have taken an elbow. That happened last Tuesday night at Southwestern. Comes in to Sharp. Now Sharp back to Adam Cole. Gets the play from Coach Thacker. Keck with the basketball. To Jordan Mann. Mann for three. He is on fire. He even had a foul. Jordan Mann doing it all here. It is 19 to 16. Somerset with the lead. And Jordan's been shooting that three here lately. Green goes to the hoop, kicks it out. Gibbons for three. Got it. We're tied up at 19. 5:34 to go in the half. The score is tied at 19. Green looked like he got away with the push-off. Man with the basketball inside the Sharp. Sharp pump fake up and in. 21 to 19. And I tell you what, Doug, no matter what Wayne County has been trying to do in the first half, they have no answer for the post move down low. Gibbons misses. Tucker with the rebound. Adam Cole with the basketball. Somerset wants this score to be in the 60s by the end of the game. Cole wide open. He's going to be hammered and get two free throws. Take your pick. You're going to get number 23. That's Joseph Brown. You could have also called uh, Brian Mayer. Two shots coming up for Adam Cole. I guarantee you the next time somebody from Wayne County goes in for a layup, somebody's going to probably get their clock clean. Big O' Tires, 4285 South Highway 27, across from the Somerset Mall, is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. 
when it comes to tires, brakes, shocks, and struts, as well as the best tire warranty in the business. Come on into Big O Tires or give them a call five for Big O Tires. Nathan Bray checks into the ball game as Neil Tucker will have a seat. Adam Cole misses the first one. That's very rare for his Cole to miss a free throw. He's probably seeing stars, to be honest with you. Shoot at the one in the middle. Second one is good. It's back up to a three-point lead for Somerset. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go in the half. Mayer with the basketball. This is Bell, now to Gibbons. Inside to Green. Kicks it out. Mayer for three. No good. Gets his own rebound. Back tip from Alan Keck. And Jordan Mann comes up with it. I tell you what, Alan Keck may not average 30 points a game. Coach Stacker is going to call a timeout. But uh, as I was saying, Doug, Alan Keck may not average 30 a game, but the man is going to do all the hard work. He's going to do the dirty work down low for you. And that's what you'd like to see. Well, Alan Keck's going to average four to six points a game. Basically, any scoring you get from him is a bonus. But he does, like you said, the intangibles. If you need to stop, he goes and gets it for you. If you need a blue-collar rebound, he's the man that goes and gets it for you. He does things that doesn't show up in the box score, but he does things that helps his club win. Sharp with the basketball out top. It's a three-point lead with 4.05 to go in the half for Somerset. Sharp spin move, five-second call. Good call. As Sharp just stood out there and dribbled around with it. You can't do that. Evan Dick with the basketball splits the double team. Ball is on the floor. Gets it away to Bell. Beats the time. To Gibbons in the corner for three. No good. Tucker with the rebound. And this is shaping up just like the paint school game, Doug. Uh, Somerset doing an outstanding job at running at the shooters and doing a good job of, of not letting any clean three-point shots get uh, put up by Wayne County. This is going to be an over and back. And it'll be Wayne County basketball. And Trey Sharp just saved a, a layup as Bradley Bell was uh, trying to get to the basketball. Well, that's seven turnovers now on the Briar Jumpers. Some intense defense on both ends of the floor, Brian. Jordan Mann just blocked the shot, knocked it off of, of Green, and it will go over to Somerset, and he spiked that like a volleyball. That got the Somerset crowd up a little bit. 3.20 to go in the half. 22 to 19, Somerset with the lead. Mann should have just laid it up and in, but he throws it away as he tried to go to Sharp. Wayne County opponents averaging 19.4 turnovers per game. Somerset well on their way to uh, matching that, if not better. Nathan Bray with the steal to Sharp, and he's going to be fouled. The foul is going to go on Bradley Bell. Nice steal there by number 34, Nathan Bray, the freshman, uh, at the head of that uh, Somerset press. And Trey Sharp gets two free throws out of it. And... Uh, that's nine turnovers now on Wayne County, who averages only 13, so they're well on pace to uh, go above their season average in uh, miscues here this evening. Both free throws are good. 24 to 19, three minutes, 10 seconds to go in the half. Somerset leading Wayne County. Green ahead, blocked from behind. As Gibbons went to the bucket, Trey Sharp blocked it. Tucker with the basketball now. Well, Trey Sharp can not only shoot, but he can get up, too. There's a steal. Tucker lost it. We go the other way. Sexton gets it out to Evan Dick. Cross court. This is Bell with it. To Gibbons. Gibbons trapped. Tries to dribble to the basket. The ball is going to be knocked away. And they're going to call a foul on Jordan Mann. Jordan doesn't argue, so... That'll be, I believe, two on Jordan Mann. Yeah, I think he is arguing a little, too. He didn't touch him. So you have, I think Doug Eves now has two fouls for Somerset. It's a five-point lead for the jumpers, 24 to 19.
up and in as Gibbons hits the free throw. But Wayne County is one of those teams that get up and down the floor so fast, they create those fouls by forcing teams back on their heels so much. Up and in. 24-21. Somerset with the lead. 2.25 to go. And Neil Tucker just traveled. Drug that pivot foot with him, and you can't do that. That's another turnover on the jumpers. Wayne County can tie it here with the three, or cut it to one with the two. Green with the basketball inside, kicks it out. Gibbons going to drive the paint, kick it over, and it is stolen by Ryan Jamison. Jamison out on the break, one on three, and the young freshman has it knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Somerset. He may have been better served to hold that one up. It's okay, a nice steal by the young freshman, Ryan Jameson, who is going to be a heck of a player before he leaves Somerset. Ball comes into Tucker. Thought about going to man. Now he's going to bring it around. Drives the paint, kicks it up from 10. No good. Jordan Mann, a big offensive rebound up and in. They cannot stop Jordan Mann. He is inside. Six to six from the field, Brian. He'll miss his next shot. You just killed him. 26 21. Wayne County trailing. Evan Dick puts it up and in. I think Jamison fouled him. It's going to go on Ryan Jamison. A chance to cut into that lead. 26 23 with 140 to go in the half. Jordan Mann will go to the bench to take a breather as Adam Cole checks back into the ball game. Somerset with a very small lineup now. J.J. Gill into the ball game. Now Tucker will set down. So you have J.J. Gill along with Alan Keck, Adam Cole, Nathan Bray, and Ryan Jamison. One senior and a bunch of youngsters on the floor right now for the jumpers. It's a two-point lead for Somerset, 26-24. Well, Sean Thacker basically forced into this due to the foul trouble. And it's going to be thrown away. Gill just threw it right back. Somerset's trying to say it was touched, but it, it was not. From our vantage point, it didn't seem to be. As Gill just threw it in the backcourt. So there's a turnover. Wayne County with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three. Evan Dick outside. Inside it goes up, no good. Green with a rebound, knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Wayne County. One minute, 12 seconds to go in the half. Ball comes into Evan Dick, knocked out of bounds, and will go to Somerset. All three officials conferring. They said it'll go over to Somerset. Gill with the basketball to Adam Cole. Over to Keck. Now Keck has it knocked away. Another steal by Wayne County. Up and in, and we're tied up. Steven Sexton as we hit the 45-second mark of the half. Jamison with the basketball. Cole with it now. 38 seconds. Now to Jamison. Both crowds getting into the ball game now. 30 seconds. Cole better hurry up and do something with it. There he goes. Nathan Bray now with the basketball. To Jamison with 15 seconds. Now to Cole. seconds. Cole for a long two. No good. Green. Going to lay it up with three-tenths of a second left. And where I'm seeing things, 
Was I seeing things, or did he pick that up and run with it like a football? He, he took four steps before the ball. <laughs> and you know what? I don't want to take nothing away from Wayne County or Rodney Woods, but when you get a whistle like this, it's easy to see how these guys are 22-1. Shows you just how fast Green is. He, he got took from four steps. He misses the first free throw. He got from the three-point stripe of Somerset's end to a layup in three seconds. That young man can flat get it down the court. Second free throw. Up. Good. Wayne County with a one-point lead comes down to Jamison. Shot won't count. We go to halftime. Somerset trailing Wayne County 27-26. You're watching high school basketball on Charter Media's Channel 8. The Somerset Briar jumpers making their way out from the locker room, getting ready for the second half. And, and Doug, I tell you what, it was a very sloppy first half for both teams. You know, a lot of turnovers, Brian, and unfortunately for Somerset, a boatload of fouls as uh, the jumpers got in foul trouble there at the end of the first half. And Coach Thacker had to... Uh, go deep into his bench and of course three key reserves already out so he had to go even deeper and as a result Somerset turned the ball over three or four quick times and allowed Wayne County to sneak back and take the lead uh, in the first half scoring for Somerset the three amigos account for all the points Jordan Mann 13 points Trey Sharp 7 points Adam Cole had 6 for Wayne County Evan Dick leads the way with 10 Tyrone Green had 6 listen to this shooting Somerset, 7 out of 10 on two-point shots, 2 of 4 from behind the arc, 9 of 14 for 51.4%, and they trail at halftime. Wayne County, 8 of 20 for 40%. Free throws, Somerset, 6 out of 8. Wayne County, 9 out of 11. So the Cards outscore Somerset by 3 from the charity stripe. Uh, and really, free throws a little bit closer than I thought they were, 11 to 8 in favor of Wayne County. But Somerset has got to find a way to keep the three amigos out of foul trouble here in the second half if they're going to have any chance whatsoever due to the fact that the bench is already depleted with Josh Anderson, Heath Randall, and Josh Thompson not here tonight. Somerset playing the last, uh, what, maybe minute and a half, two minutes, uh, with three starters sitting on the bench. So uh, that... And Jordan Let's see Mann, how that works out here in the second half. Excuse me, Brian. Jordan Mann, unstoppable in the first half. Six out of six from the field. Just like that, Somerset starts off with a, a steal. Trey Sharp gets it to Adam Cole. We go the other way, just underway in the second half. 27-26. Somerset trailing Wayne County, and Adam Cole just threw it right to Brian Mayer. Mayer to Gibbons. Gibbons out to Evan Dick, now back to Gibbons. Gibbons for three, no good. Tucker with the rebound. Gets it to Adam Cole. So each team with a trip down court, two turnovers. Sharp drives the paint. And let's see who the foul is going to be on here. It's on the floor. Foul is going to go on uh, Tyrone Green. And Sharp hit, hit the floor pretty hard. Jordan Mann to trigger it in. Gets it into Sharp inside to Jordan Mann. Mann up. No good. His first miss of the night. Sharp with the rebound up and in, and he's fouled. Big offensive rebound there by Trey Sharp, who came up with the steal down here at the other end. And... Uh, Trey goes to the line for a shot at the old-fashioned three-point play. Foul goes on Evan Dick. Shot up no good. So it's a one-point lead for the jumpers, 28-27. Evan Dick drives the length of the floor, kicks it out to Gibbons. Gibbons no good again. Allen Keck with the rebound. Has it tipped away. Mayer gets it. And a foul is going to be called as Bradley Bell... That deceptive speed of Bradley Bell, able to get uh, dribble penetration, to be Wayne County basketball. Comes into Bell, to Evan Dick. Back to Bell. 
travels again and again gets away with it. Evan Dick for three, got nothing, but Mayer's there to put it back in. 29-28, Wayne County with the lead. And, Doug, I'll tell you what, if Bradley Bell's walked once tonight, he's walked 20 times. Yeah, he walks every time he touches the ball, and uh, we're uh, probably 50 yards from the court. I'm wondering how we're seeing it, and they're not. And you can hear it every time he gets the basketball, the whole crowd screaming. Here's kick. Comes inside, up, off the glass, no good. Tie up, it'll go over to, it'll stay with Somerset as Tyrone Green and is that Neil Tucker battle for the basketball? Sharp with it. Outside to Cole, 29-28. Wayne County with the lead. Six minutes, five seconds to go in the third quarter of play. Check inside to Jordan Mann, wide open, lays it up and in. I tell you what, Doug, when he gets Evan Dick on his hip, you can't stop him. No, he just abused Evan Dick right there down low. And uh, as you say, Evan Dick can't stop him one-on-one down in the paint. Gibbons with the basketball, drives baseline, all the way up and under, lays it in. Nice move by Gibbons, and a 30-second timeout is called by Coach Woods. Wayne County leading it 31-30. to Are you ready for Internet banking? We are. With UP Online, there is no difference between banker's hours and your hours. You can even apply for a mortgage on the website, All transactions are encrypted and password protected for security. For details or to sign up, visit www.unionplanners.com anytime you want. Solution, Union Planners Bank, member FDIC. It's a one-point lead for the Wayne County Cardinals. Five minutes, 40 seconds to go in the third quarter play. 31 to 30. Not sure why Rodney Woods called that timeout, but uh, being the great coach that he is, might have been a little concerned that Somerset got the ball down to Jordan Mann so easily there uh, the last trip down and uh, got the easy layup. So Coach Woods might have been talking defense in that timeout. Not sure. Ahead to Sharp. Sharp ahead to Tucker. Tucker battles up and no good. Mayer with the rebound. Ahead it goes to Bell. Back to Mayer. To Dick. It's going to be knocked out of bounds by Adam Cole. It'll stay with Wayne County. 5.22 to go, third quarter play. Somerset losers of their last 11 against Wayne County. Have not won since 92. Inside it goes to Evan Dick. He did a nice job of getting uh, Alan Keck on the back side, and it's a three-point lead for Wayne County. Check. Gets it ahead to Tucker. Three on one, nice feed. Man gets it up, no good, but he's going to be fouled by Brian Mayer. And again, Jordan Mann proving he cannot be stopped once he gets down low. Save a lot food stores with convenient locations at each end of Highway 27, one mile south of the mall and North Highway 27 at the University Drive intersection. You'll find fresh produce, USDA quality meats, and a wide variety of your weekly favorites. Everything you want at big savings. Join your neighbors and friends today at Save a Lot. First one rims out. Nathan Bray comes in as Neil Tucker goes to the bench. Second one is good. It's a two-point lead for Wayne County. 33-31. Bell with the basketball in the corner to Gibbons. Gets it back out top to Bell. Bell, stop, jump, up and in. 35-31, a four-point lead for the Wayne County Cardinals. Back to Allen Keck. To Sharp. Sharp drives in, puts it up and in. A good job of not charging in Bradley Bell. Cole with the steal. Up and in to Sharp. We're tied at 35. Bell looked like he may have carried that one. Another travel. And then Tyrone Green has it come off of his knee out of bounds. Into the game comes Joseph Brown, number 23, and Stephen Sexton, number 25. 
Somerset picking up its defensive intensity, Brian. Green with a steal as they had Sharp down court. Four minutes to go, third quarter of play. Evan Dick with it, drives baseline on man, puts it up, man, blocks it, jump ball, it'll stay with Wayne County. Tie game at 35, 3.53 to go, third quarter of play. Then it comes to Joseph Brown. Now to Evan Dick. This is Green with it out top. Knocked out of bounds by Nathan Bray. Ball comes in deep, knocked away by Bray. And that's going to be a travel. They're going to give a timeout. Don't see it. Didn't see it. Rodney Woods will ask for a 30-second timeout. That was a turnover. Jimmy Diehouse trying to explain the call to Coach Thacker. Well, he can't. I don't think Thacker's going to believe whatever he says at this point in time. We're tied at 35, 3.36 to go, third quarter of play. That should have been a turnover. And folks, you hear Doug and I ride the officials all the time, and, and we'll tell you several times, we wouldn't do it for any amount of money you'd pay us. Uh, it's no, not going to happen. No, it will not. We've never made a bad call from up here. These men don't get paid enough money for what they do. No, as a matter of fact, we're perfect, aren't we? <laughs> in our, so That's far. right. We're batting a thousand in our careers from up here. Well, Sean Thacker's got a legitimate beat. If Green was going for the ball, which he was, and Lane, I don't see how he could have even made the motion for a signal, a timeout. Into the corner to Gibbons. Gibbons down low. Knocked away by Mann. Cole comes with, up with it. And Joseph Brown with a frustration foul. The foul situation evening up a little bit. Four team fouls in the second half for Wayne County. Only one for Somerset. Brian, unless one of these teams goes on a run, this has all the makings of going right down to the wire. Man. Working on Evan Dick up at the left hand scoop, no good. Knocked out of bounds and will go to Wayne County as Evan Dick had the ball knocked out of his hands by Alan Keck. Still tied at 35 with three minutes to go, third quarter. Adam Cole picks the pocket of Stephen Sexton, so Somerset with the basketball. More turnovers than points here in the second half so far. Sharp with it out top. Inside to Jordan Mann. Mann backs down. Up high off the glass. No good. Sharp with the rebound. Ball's on the floor. Diving for it. And a timeout is called. We're going to give Somerset the timeout. And I don't see that one. The no, ball's being thrown, away, uh, thrown around down in the pile. And all of a sudden, they uh, have Somerset with the timeout. And I believe Adam Cole has a cut above his eye. Well, now, Rodney Woods probably doesn't like that call, and I think he's got a legitimate gripe, although I don't see how he can do much arguing when he got the break two minutes ago. And I agree with you. I don't see how they got a 30-second timeout there. We were talking at halftime how Rodney Woods is so calm Setting over on those sidelines. I guess he figures no matter how bad a call is one way, it'll be made up sooner or later the other way. They all even out in the end. Well, the guy's won four or five regional titles, so he obviously knows what he's doing. One of the uh, more outstanding coaches in this part of the state of Kentucky. We've had a little bit of everything in this one. Inside to Sharp, up and in. Somerset regains the lead, 37-35, with 2.21 to go in the third quarter. Ball back tipped. Green with it. And 
Keck fouled him. You could hear the slap across the arm. It goes up and in. Joseph Brown gets the bucket and the foul and a chance to take the lead for Wayne County. Bradley, uh, Bradley Bell checks into the ball game as, as uh, Tyrone Green goes to the bench. Tell you what, Doug, uh, Wayne County averaging 76 points a game. They're really going to have to get after it to even get close to that tonight. Well, this scores at Somerset's pace, no doubt about that. We were talking Somerset wants this score to be in the uh, as low as possible in the six somewhere in the 50s or 60s. They they really feel like they have a shot to win. We're tied up with two minutes to go. Third quarter, sharp for three. No good. Nathan Bray going to be called over the back as he went over the back. Uh, Stephen Sexton going for the rebound. So that's three team fouls against Somerset. At first they said that was three on Bray. That's actually only two. Now they've corrected it. A whole bunch of players with two for Somerset. Bell has it stripped away. Sharp with the basketball to Adam Cole. A minute 38 to go in the third quarter. Tied at 37. Sharp, spin move down the paint. And he's going to be fouled as he went to lay it up. You're going to get Joe Brown. That's four on Brown. Let's see if they're going to say if he's shooting or not. And to be honest with you, Doug, I think he was going to pass the ball to Jordan Mann, and that's what the officials are going to say. It was a pass, not a shot. Coach Thacker trying to lobby and get the two free throws. Tucker to inbound it, comes into Sharp. Inside the man, spin move, hook, no good. Allen Keck with the rebound, over his head and in. Play of the week, automatic right there. He was not going to be denied. Allen Keck with the offensive rebound up over the back of his head and in. A two-point lead for the jumpers. And the reach in is going to be called against Nathan Bray. That will be his third foul. Actually, they called that on Tucker. And I didn't see that one. I thought it was Bray. But that's four on Neil Tucker. And he'll have to go to the bench and sit down. 39 37, Somerset leading Wayne County. 103 to go, third quarter of play. Inside it comes to Green. And they're going to get Adam Cole on this one as Adam. Had a hold of the hand. You can see that as he came around. And that's three on AC. Always proud to support the local schools. The Sports Den on South Highway 27 has everything you need to show your support and school spirit. Somerset, Pulaski, and Southwestern hooded sweatshirts are always favorites. And don't forget, the Sports Den does custom embroidering and screen printing for your business, church, or club. First free throw up and no good. One minute to go. Third quarter of play. Green's second free throw. Got it. He's shooting 50% for the season, 50% tonight. 39-38. Somerset with the lead. Cole with it to Keck. Into the middle to Bray. They get it across. Three on two. And Bray threw it away. He had a sharp streaking to the bucket. And just a bad pass by the youngster. Freshman mistake right there. It's a one-point lead for Somerset. Evan Dick has been very quiet here tonight. Bell with it. Kicks it out to Gibbons. They're going to hold for one. 25 seconds. Steven Sexton, Jared Gibbons, and Bradley Bell out top. Tyrone Green and Evan Dick down low for Wayne County at 10 seconds. Now they'll go. Gibbons for three. No good. Cole with the rebound with three seconds. Two. One. Kick. No good as we go to the fourth quarter of play. Eight minutes to go in this ballgame. Somerset 
nursing a one-point lead, 39-38. Folks with the tax season upon us, now is the time to call Barry Dalton CPA. Barry offers complete tax services for both individual and corporate. Monthly write-up, auditing, and financial planning. CPA in the Gateway Center, Somerset, call 679-9344. Wayne County getting instructions from Coach Rodney Woods, getting ready for the fourth quarter of play. As you see the band on the far side and the huge crowd in here tonight at Wayne County. So get a shout out of our partners from KISS FM 1023, Paul Wright, Mike Kerr doing the play-by-play duties tonight for KISS FM. A little bit of the Somerset crowd as we get ready for fourth quarter action. Somerset will have the basketball. They lead it 39-38 over Wayne County. Wayne County with only one loss on their record this year. That being earlier this season at Bell County. Ball comes into Adam Cole. Key right here, Brian, is for both teams not to let the other club go on a 5-0-6-0 run or a, you could be down six or seven points in a hurry. Man, Mr. Chippy got his own rebound, put it up no good. Ball's on the floor. And Jordan Mann missed two wide-open layups. Coach Thacker wanting a foul. Didn't get it. Inside it goes to Jordan, or excuse me, Evan Dick. And Mann just hacked him. That was a frustration foul right there. And Coach Thacker is livid. He wanted the other call at the other end. They're actually going to get Keck on the foul. Evan Dick goes to the free throw line. 7.28 7.28 to go in the game. First free throw is up and good. Dick shooting 79% from the free throw line this season. Yeah, the one place you don't want Evan Dick is at the free throw line. Because he's not going to miss too many. Misses this one. We're tied at 39. Man with the rebound ahead to Trey Sharp. Sharp goes to the bucket. Has it knocked away. It'll go over to Wayne County. Tried to do too much on his own. Had Steven Sexton sneak up from behind and uh, knock it away. So we're tied at 39. Wayne County gets the basketball. Hear the crowd from both sides trying to get into the ball game. Sexton with it. Cross court to Gibbons. Comes up. Back to Gibbons. In the paint. Man had a hand in his face. And Gibbons knocked it down. It's a 41-39 lead for Wayne County. Crucial time right here for Somerset. Ten-second count, and it's going to be a turnover back to Wayne County. Six minutes, 46 seconds to go. Wayne County with the basketball leading at 41-39 as Nathan Bray goes to the bench and Neil Tucker comes back into the game. Inside of Green. Over to Bell. Bell drives the paint. Up off the glass, no good. Green with the rebound. And they're going to call Jordan Mann with a foul as he got him with the body. Southern Petroleum Incorporated, the authorized jobber of quality BP products in Somerset, is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. They're your source for quality heating oil and farm fuel. Call 561-0001. That's Southern Petroleum Incorporated in Somerset. It's a three-point lead for Wayne County. 42-39 with six and a half minutes to go. Second one's up, no good. Rebound comes down. Shot goes up, no good. Keck with the rebound. And he's going to be fouled by Evan Dick. And it's going to be one and a bonus coming up for Alan Keck. Somerset down three. Going to get this Wayne County press. Need to keep their calm right here. 
Keck throws it right to Coach Atkins in the Somerset bench. He was expecting Adam Cole to come across the line. He didn't do it. And it's a three-point lead for Wayne County and the basketball. Somerset has been very sloppy with the ball the last three, four trips down court. Outside to Bell. Another travel up and under, no good. Green with the rebound, and man, fouls him. That'll be four on Jordan Mann. I do, oh, that's only his third. That's right, they gave the last one to Keck. Now they put four on the board. Four fouls on Mann. Four on Tucker. And Wayne County living its free throw line here in the fourth quarter. Free throws up and good. And Doug, just as you said, they could not afford to let either team have a four or five point run. And that's exactly what's happening right, happening right here as Wayne County is up by four. Make it five. Cole dribbles out of it ahead to Tucker. Tucker to Sharp. Nice pump fake up and in. 44-41, and a timeout is called. He wants a full timeout. This Coach Thacker, 5.49 to go in the game. Wayne County leading Somerset, 44-41. You're watching high school basketball on Charter Media's Channel 8. Coach Thacker giving instructions to his Somerset Briar jumpers. They trail it, 44-41. Five minutes, 49 seconds to go in the game. Wayne County with the basketball. Ball comes into Bell. He drives the length of the court and lays it in. It's a five point lead. Cole throws it right to Tyrone Green. And Trey Sharp's going to commit the foul on the floor. Green will get one in a bonus. And Trey, or excuse me, Adam Cole threw it right to Tyrone Green. Doug, I tell you what, you can almost feel it starting to unravel for the jumpers. 5.27 to go in the game. Well, they're going to have to put a run together, there's no doubt about it. Free throws up and good. Wayne County, that is their 21st free throw of the game. Somerset has shot 11. Yet Wayne County full court presses the entire game. Second free throw, no good. Keck with the rebound. They trap him right away. Cole ahead to Sharp, knocked away. Ball's loose on the floor. Man with it, and a foul's going to be called as Evan Dick just grabbed a hold of Jordan Mann as he was going after the basketball. So that's four on Evan Dick. Four on Jordan Mann, four on Evan Dick. Doug Jordan Mann has been very quiet here in the latter stages of this second half. Well, they've just struggled getting him the basketball due to all the turnovers. Missed the free throw. That's a travel. And that Le- is a travel. Both players had a hold of the ball. And Lynn Russell stands there and swallows his whistle. A six-point lead for Wayne County with 5.04 to go. Standing right there looking at it. Side it goes to Green. Drives on Jordan Mann. And it's a 49-41 lead. Ahead to Tucker. Tucker to Sharp who lays it in. 49-43. There's a foul on Tucker, and he's gone. Boy, Doug, I tell you what, they should have the menu out front before you walk in with all the home cooking that goes on in this gymnasium. Yeah, man. Lynn Russell stood right there under the basket, looked at both players with the ball, and just stands there like I a thought, I thought Sean Thacker had had a stroke. Looked right at it, and no call. He's still talking to him about it. Wayne County in the double bonus. 
Leading it by six. At the free throw line, Bradley Bell averaging eight points a game. Up and good. No wonder this team is such a good free throw shooting team. Bell shooting 81%. They shoot 1,000 a night. You should be good. You shoot that many free throws in a game. Second one's up, and it's good. An eight-point lead. Largest lead of the night for either team. Wayne County leading Somerset. Well, they finally, oh, they were all over him for about 10 seconds. Oh, Steven Sexton, and now one in the bonus coming up for Adam Cole. And, Doug, not to take anything away from the Wayne County Cardinal basketball team. No. They have forced they're... some turnovers from Somerset here in the second half, especially here in the fourth quarter. But when you're playing five on eight. Yeah, Wayne County's an outstanding basketball team, and they're uh, as well coached as any team in the region. Cole misses a free throw. Gibbons to Green. Up, in it goes. It's a 10-point lead, and you can feel this one getting away. Bucket by man, and he's fouled. It's amazing to me how you can hammer someone one time down court, no call, and that was not even a touch foul, it looked like, and they call a foul. I'll tell you, with the game officiated like this, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal couldn't win here. Man's free throw is up and good. A timeout is called by Sean Thacker. 4-13 to go in the game. 53-46. Wayne County leading Somerset. This is high school basketball on Charter Media's Channel 8. Four minutes, 13 seconds to go in the game. 53-46. Wayne County leading Somerset. Jumpers are not even going to press. They're going to drop back in their half-court game. Might as well. They'd just be called for a foul. (laughs) Inside it goes. Green with the basketball up and in. It's a nine-point lead. 55-46. Cole with the basketball. Cole having trouble on that left ankle. Barely able to walk, it looks like. Nathan Bray, pump fake up and in for Somerset. 55-48, a seven-point lead with 3.35 to go. Plenty of time. Gibbons with it. Somerset needs to stop that guy right there. Trey Sharp, a delayed call. There's your man with the call again. Lynn Russell. And you can see how smart Rodney Woods is. He's going right at Jordan Mann, trying to pick up the fifth foul on the big guy. Down low, two free throws coming up. Tyrone Green is 9 out of 14 from the strike. 10 out of 15. Young man only shooting 50% on the season. Going to up that average here tonight. Well, it's not like he's not had a lot of shot chances. Gets both of them. Jordan Mann with the basketball. Kicks it out. Bray for three. No good. Ball knocked around. Out it comes to Gibbons. Knocked away by Adam Cole, and it'll stay with Wayne County. No. It'll go over to Somerset. It looked like Bray may have knocked that one out of bounds. And Adam Cole just took a hack at Jared Gibbons. They're saying he got all ball, but I think he got half the face as he went down. Somerset fans trying to get into this ball game. Cole gets it across the timeline. To Sharp. Sharp going to be fouled. That's going to go on Jared Gibbons. Two free throws coming up. Trey 
sharp five out of seven from the line. He needs to make these. First win, no good. Ryan Jameson checks into the ball game as Adam Cole will go to the bench. That's a big story in this game, too. Both of them missed. Wayne County has shot lights out from the free throw line. Somerset has struggled. 240 to go. A nine point lead for Wayne County. Gibbons trying to put a dagger in the heart. Got it. It's a 12 point lead. Inside it goes to Jameson, and they're going to call a foul on Bradley Bell as Jameson went up for a shot from the free throw line. If Somerset shoots any high percentage at all from the free throw line, this is a close ball game. 8 to 16 right now. 9 to 17 as Jameson hits the free throw. 30-second timeout is called. Thacker going to stay out on the floor with his team. 60-49. to 49. Wayne County with the lead. You know, we don't want to take nothing away from Coach Rodney Woods and this Wayne County team. They've outplayed Somerset in the fourth quarter and uh, forced a lot of turnovers and... Uh, Etc. You just like to see the kids get a, a better shape from the officials. Uh, I hate to say it, because we do have some outstanding officials in the 12th region. Unfortunately, I think we've uh, seen an off night here tonight. Let's put it this way, Doug. These two teams will see each other again in the region. Uh, just about guarantee it. And when that happens, thankfully we it won't, won't be on this three. home floor. And we won't be these three guys neither. <laughs> It'll be the fifth region. I wouldn't have their job for no amount of money, but they've had an off night here tonight. Jameson gets both of them. It's a 10-point game, 2.16 to go. Bell drives all the way in. Now he's going to kick it out. Gibbons for three. Got it. The Wayne County Cardinals are on fire. Largest lead of the night. Bray goes all the way in, lays it up and in. 63-52 63-52 with 1.51 to go. One thirty-eight in counting. Inside it goes. Back door to green. And count it. I did not see a foul anywhere. Alan Keck was trailing the play. They didn't either. Crowd's going to start heading for the exits. 1.34 to go. Allen Keck will go have a seat as Adam Cole checks in. 65.52. And for all those internet junkies who have been reading the, uh, what is it, KentuckyPreps.com. Picking Wayne County by 15. Must have been these three officials. That's about the only thing they got right tonight. Sharp with the basketball out top. Drives the paint. Puts it up. He's fouled. One seventeen to go in the game. It's a 14-point lead for Wayne County. First free throws up and good by Sharp. Cuts it to 13. Second one's up and good. Up ahead to Bell. 
The three on one. Gibbons going to shoot it again. Misses this one. Cole with the rebound. Jordan Mann knocked it away from him. And now Wayne County's going to work clock. One minute. Wayne County going to improve to 23 and 1. Somerset going to fall to 19 and 6. What a game we have seen here tonight. The score will not be indicative of how close of a game it was. Well, Somerset led 39-38 after three periods, and Wayne County is going to come close to scoring that many points in the fourth quarter. Half of those from the free throw line. Or more. Tyrone Green, only a 50% free throw shooter on the season, has made a living at the free throw line here in the second half. And just cannot miss. And you can tell Adam Cole just does not have the mobility with that injured ankle. He'll shoot free throws with 44 seconds to go. Free throws up and good. 68-55. Second one's up and good. JJ, uh, excuse me, number 11, that's Andy McGargle, checks into the ball game for Wayne County. And now Bray call for the foul. Last 42 seconds in this ball game. Going to take an awful long time to play. Now both teams will get ready for their respective district play. District tournaments coming up. And I may still be using a calculator to count all these free throw attempts. Both free throws are good. 70 to 56. Because partner, Wayne County shot a boatload tonight. Trey Sharp for three. No good. McGargle with the rebound up and in. And I tell you what, Doug, at this rate, Wayne County going to come really close to getting their 76 points that they're averaging per game. Well, 27 seconds left, and it's 70 to 58. They've scored 32 points in this quarter after scoring 38 through 30. I don't care who you are or what you are. Takes a lot of ball play to do that. Yep. 31 free throws on the night for Wayne County. Attempted. 24 of 31. That's shooting a lot of free throws, and of course a lot of those have been here in the last minute and a half once Somerset began fouling. Somerset, 14 of 21. Ten less attempts, ten less makes. Looking at a two-point ball game. But Rodney Woods had, had that... Uh, not to take anything away, sorry, Brian, from Coach Woods. He's got an outstanding team. Uh, I just hope we get to see these two clubs match up again in the regional tournament. Look at those ten less shots and ten misses for Somerset. You're looking at a two-point game right here. Somerset going to be content with just letting the clock run out. Nine seconds. Jordan Mann gets the pick. He's going to go in, lay it up and in. 70 to 60 as we're going to let the clock run out. Your final score, Wayne County defeats Somerset by a score of 70 to 60. In a hard-fought battle between number one and number two in the 12th region. And, Doug, I guess you have to say that uh, Wayne County's proven they are the best team in the 12th region. Right now they are, but again... 
I want to see these two teams play later in the year on a neutral site with three different officials with Somerset having a full complement of players. And it still be a tough road for them, but let's see what happens then. Our next game on Charter Media will be uh, next week. We will be coming to you from Pulaski County High School as the Pulaski County Maroons close out their regular season against the Harrodsburg Pioneers. They'll be coming to town senior night. Then we'll be getting ready for the district tournament. Pulaski County boys and Southwestern boys. They also have uh, the 48 District Girls Tournament coming up. We have all kinds of local sports coming up for you. Right here on Channel 8. My thanks, as always, to Doug Each from the Somerset News Journal and, of course, my wife, Jennifer Abner, on camera. Again, your final score, Somerset loses it tonight, 70-60 to to the Wayne County Cardinals. For Charter Media's local Channel 8, this is Brian Abner saying so long, everybody.